Hey guys, Nathan here with theebookreader.com. So let's do another comparison review. We've got the Kindle Oasis 2 up against the Kindle Paperwhite 4. So, I mean, they share a lot of the same features. Uh, the, the new features they added on the Paperwhite 4 bring it closer to the Kindle Oasis because now they're both waterproof. They both have the flush glass screens. Uh, they added Bluetooth to the Paperwhite so you can stream audiobooks. So a lot of the same features on these two devices now except for the Kindle Oasis 2 costs about twice as much. Uh, it's got the larger 7-inch screen, the Kindle Oasis does. Uh, the Kindle Paperwhite has a 6-inch screen, so they both have 300 PPI ink screens. And they both have the flush glass screens, although it does seem like the Paperwhite does show a little bit more reflections. Just a little bit more, you can see the definition of the reflections a little bit more. So on the back, the Kindle Oasis has that unusual design where it's got that larger edge to hold on to, and then it tapers down where it's really small. Uh, the Paperwhite has more of the traditional design. Uh, it's got sort of a rubbery coating on the back. And the Oasis definitely looks a lot nicer, but uh, the aluminum is a lot colder to hold. It does warm up after you're holding it for a few minutes, but uh, that's the one thing I've never really liked about the Oasis, just how cold it is with that aluminum back. Uh, the Oasis also has that uh, sensor, so it'll automatically rotate the screen, so you got the page buttons, so you can use them uh, either left or right-handed. So like I said, they both have 300 PPI ink screens. When you're looking at the clarity of both, uh, the background on the Oasis just seemed to have more of a yellow tone to it. Uh, the text seems about cl the same level of clarity when you're using no front light, but when you have the front light on, it seems like the text is clearer on the Oasis. So uh, they both have the front light, but they don't have the adjustable colored front light like the Kobo models do. Uh, the front light is definitely brighter on the Oasis than it is on the Paperwhite 4, uh, except at the lowest setting, it's actually a little bit dimmer at the lowest setting on both of these. Uh, the Oasis has a little bit lower brightness. Uh, it's not going to show up on the camera. So... The Oasis also has the auto brightness sensor, so it automatically adjusts based on your surroundings. Um, again, you, the lower settings here, it goes a little bit uh, dimmer on the Oasis than it does on the Paperwhite, but they're very comparable, and they both can have the front light turned off uh, all together. As far as the evenness goes, they're both very even, probably a little bit better on the Oasis. just has a little bit more clearer text to it uh, with the front light on. So as you can see, the uh, Oasis is clearly faster to turn pages. Uh, it does have the dual core processor. Uh, they didn't say anything about the Paperwhite. It probably has the same single core processor as the previous model since the uh, speed is very comparable with the uh, Paperwhite 3. But yeah, the Oasis definitely turns pages faster. So with the larger screen, I kind of just like how the text lays out better on the 7-inch screen of the Oasis. It kind of just depends on like uh, what font sizes you like to use. Um, the, it's different, obviously, at the smaller end of the scale and the larger end of the scale. Obviously, the, the larger screen is going to be more suited if you like using larger font sizes. You can fit more words on the screen. But um, the Paperwhite, um, the advantage with it is it's more portable because you can fit it in a pocket easier. The, the unusual design of the Oasis makes it very uh, un-pocket friendly because it's just so wide. Uh, unless you have like cargo pants or something, just not going to fit into a typical pocket. Uh, the Kindle Paperwhite definitely has the advantage with the uh, portability factor. Um, as far as like the features go, they have exactly the same features. Like the one difference is the Oasis has this large uh, text mode or like interface mode here. So like makes things, scales it up for the larger screen a little bit, makes things a little bit larger. But they both have the inverted text mode. They have all the same software features as far as the reading features, you know, your notes, your highlights. I mean, the interface is exactly the same on here. They both have that disabled touchscreen uh, features. Obviously, works a little bit different um, with the uh, Paperwhite. So the Oasis, it turns off the touchscreen entirely. You use the page buttons to page forward and back. Uh, on the Paperwhite, it turns off the touchscreen functions all except for swiping. So you can uh, swipe the screen using the swiping motion, but tapping won't turn the page or if you just touch on the page. So yeah, all the software features are virtually identical between these two devices. It all just comes down to like the different size. You got the uh, more of a premium design on the Oasis. You got the page buttons, of course. I mean, they both are waterproof. They both support Bluetooth for audio books. Uh, they both come with the same amount of storage space. You got eight gigabytes or 32 gigabyte options. Um, again, the Oasis is just gonna be a little bit more suited uh, to, if you wanna use larger font sizes, if you have bad eyesight, obviously the larger screen's gonna help out with that. You're gonna get more words on the screen and it uh, it's kind of works well for uh, landscape mode like this if you're using really large font sizes. Um, so definitely an advantage with the larger screen in that regard, but uh, it's, it is a lot more expensive for the Oasis. I mean, you're talking, it starts at 250, 
the paperwhite starts at 130 so there's not really a whole lot of difference anymore between these now that they add waterproofing more storage space and bluetooth to the paperwhite model so you can flip it over as well with the rotation sensor on the paper or on the oasis uh, here's a look at a comic on both of these the same comic obviously it scales up a little bit larger on the oasis screen but i mean it's not a huge difference i mean it doesn't really make the text balloons any more readable with that one inch larger screen size so uh i mean as far as the reading experience goes you're going to get the same general reading experience on both of these devices it just kind of comes down to the hardware if you want the buttons if you want the more premium aluminum uh, feel um but i mean the paper white it's definitely the best value kindle in terms of features and now that they added the waterproofing and more storage space on uh, the option for audible books so i mean definitely the best value kindle uh, so i'm going to wrap up this video right here Check out theebookreader.com for full reviews of both of these. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye.